So, you're finally ready to give this whole capsule wardrobe thing a try. The promise of stress-free dressing, less wasted money, and less clutter all sound great. Not to mention more self-confidence, a better sense of style, and sustainability. Sign me up. But wait. How exactly do you start a capsule wardrobe? In this video, I'm going to walk you through the exact step-by-step -step process that I use for myself and with my clients. I'm Missy of Simplified Wardrobe, a capsule wardrobe stylist who helps ambitious women build their perfect, non-boring capsule wardrobes so they can express themselves stress-free. You've read all the rules, scoured Pinterest for inspiration, but you're still not quite sure where to begin. Going from dreaming of a capsule wardrobe to actually implementing one is where a lot of women tend to get stuck. Whether you're starting with a closet so jam-packed full of clothes, you can't imagine how you're going to narrow it down, or if you already have a more limited wardrobe and are not really sure where to get started with filling it up, this video is for you. So first of all, what is a capsule wardrobe? Well, at the most basic level, it's just a highly curated set of seasonal clothes that all mix and match together perfectly. That's really it. If you want more information about the basics of a capsule wardrobe, I created a video on that. The link will be somewhere on your screen and I'll also link it in the description. All right, are we all on the same page? Great. The point of a capsule wardrobe is not to perfectly adhere to a set of arbitrary rules, but rather use it as a guideline to hone your own wardrobe into a well-crafted, well-oiled machine that consistently produces easy to create outfits that you love to wear. There are a few different ways you can go about creating a capsule wardrobe, but I'm just gonna talk about one. In this video, I'm going to show you how I strategically craft my own wardrobes and those of my clients. It's a little bit involved, but I think it's worth it in the end. And don't worry, I'm going to go through it all step by step. Step one, evaluate. First, you need to evaluate you, your lifestyle, your goals, and your current wardrobe. Ask yourself, where do you spend the most time and what kind of pieces do you need to wear? For a lot of us, that means work, maybe weekend errands, maybe time spent with kids. Write all of those things down and what kinds of things you wear to each of those occasions. Then think about what colors, shapes, and styles make you feel your best right now. This is not about your goal weight or how tan you were five years ago. This is about honoring who you are and your body where it is right now. Then consider what are your goals? Who do you wanna be? Imagine yourself five years from now. What does that person wear? Finally, take a look at your current wardrobe. What's it like? What's in there? Is it mostly neutrals? Is it mostly color and pattern? Do you have a specific style that you can see from your wardrobe right now? Make a note of that, but you're also going to go one step further. What do you wear the most? What are your favorite items? What have you never worn? Maybe it even still has the tags on. What do you hate, but for some reason is still in your closet? Make a note of that too. Take those things out, put them next to each other. See if you can find any patterns. If your whole closet is a sea of black, but you figure out that you are wearing your five colored shirts on repeat, that tells you something. If you have a ton of dresses that still have their tags on because you bought them, because you like them and you thought you'd wear them, but it turns out you only really wear pants, that tells you something too. Jot down any epiphanies you have. Step two, inspiration. First, you're gonna choose a few words that describe how you want to look and feel. This might be based on some of the goals that you outlined during step one, and it might be based on the epiphanies that you had in step one. These are words like powerful, elegant, laid back, creative, romantic, polished. They're basically words that describe how you would want someone else to describe you and your style. If you need some help coming up with your words, I have a whole guide on how to find your signature style and it has an entire page that's just full of these descriptive words. If you want to get that, I will put the link in the description. Once you have your words, you're going to create your style vision board. This can be physical, like cutting out magazines and gluing them onto a paper, or it can be digital, 
I personally like to use Pinterest for this because it's so easy to add things and delete them and find new images and move stuff around. Um, you can really be creatively inspired um, with a ton of different images on Pinterest. You wanna make sure that you have a pretty good base of images. If you're using Pinterest, I would say you want at least 40 images on your board. This way you'll get a really good sense of your style and you'll be able to find your style foundations, which is the next step. Um, but before we move on, I also want to recommend that you add pins that aren't necessarily fashion related. I love adding beautiful scenery, architecture, vintage photos, photos of flowers or some kind of pattern that you really love. Really anything that speaks to you and your sense of style and your sense of aesthetic is great to add to your Pinterest board because it'll add some depth and dimension that you can't get just from outfit photos. You're trying to evoke a feeling with your board. Step three, find your foundation. Your style foundations are the building blocks of your style. From an onstage speaking event, to a cocktail party, to running errands, to a big client meeting, what stylistic elements are consistent? Take a look at your inspiration board as well as the clothes that you identified in step one as being the ones that you wear the most and love the most. And again, look for any patterns. You're looking for things like common colors, patterns, fabrics, specific items, and outfit formulas. Make a list of all of these elements. This is what you're going to be building your wardrobe around. Step four, choosing pieces. Now that you know your foundational elements, you can start to build out your capsule. Start with what's already working from your closet. Those pieces that you love and wear the most, those are your starting point. Now you're going to define your color palette. You want to choose about three to five neutrals, two or three primary colors, and a handful of accent colors. Most of your items will be neutral, followed by main colors, and then about 10% of your items should be accent colors. Of course, you can change this up based on your own personal style. If you only like neutrals, then by all means, just choose neutrals. If you love to mix and match different colors, then choose more colors. This is just a good place to start. Now, you should always include the colors from your starting pieces, those pieces that you've already set aside to be in your capsule wardrobe. You definitely wanna make sure that those colors are part of your color palette, but they don't have to be the main colors. If you want them to just be accent colors, or maybe they're mostly neutrals, this is really up to you and how you wanna build out your wardrobe. So using those foundational elements that you already identified, now you're going to start creating a list of items that need to be in your capsule if you want to fully express your style. These items could be hyper-specific, like a red double-breasted blazer with gold buttons, or more general, like wide leg trousers in one of my neutral colors. You'll most likely have a mix of both. And remember to include any items that you already own. Anything that you don't already own, add that to your shopping list, or see if you can find a reasonable substitute with what you already have. As you're putting together your list, you wanna make sure that you have enough items in the categories of things that you need to wear for all of your different activities. So like going to work, running errands, hanging out with your kids, going to brunch, etc. Anything that you definitely know that you need items for, you wanna make sure that you have enough clothes to get through. And what that means exactly to you is really personal because everyone has a different laundry schedule and a different tolerance for how many times that they are comfortable wearing clothes or being seen in the same clothes. So if for you, you don't mind wearing the same thing once a week, then you only have to have enough to get through one week of that event. But if you like to rotate your clothing more frequently than that, then maybe you need two weeks worth of clothes you know your own preferences, so make sure that you account for that. You also wanna make sure that you have a good mix of item types. For example, you need to have enough shirts and enough bottoms. You need enough dresses and enough layers. You want a good mix so that you can be creating a lot of different outfits. You don't want all shirts and no bottoms or you know only one or two because you're really limiting yourself if you do that. Or a good place that I like to start is 40% tops, 30% bottoms, 20% layers, and 10% one pieces. Of course, depending on how you like to get dressed, tailor this to what's going to work best for your life, but I think that that's a good place to start. 
Of course, this process is not an exact science. It's more of an art, so you'll have to play around with it, but this method should help you get started. If you've gone through all these steps and you're getting stuck on creating the color palette for your capsule wardrobe, I know that color can be hard for some people to know what goes together, how to pair different colors. So I created an entire video all about different ways to create color palettes for your capsule wardrobe. That's gonna be right here somewhere. So go watch that if you're ready to add some color to your capsule. And for more style tips and tricks all about capsule wardrobes, color analysis, and personal style, don't forget to subscribe. I also talk about all of that on my Instagram account. That's at Simplified Wardrobe. That'll also be linked in the description. And if you found this information helpful, please let me know with a like. And if you know someone else who could benefit from this information, go ahead and give it a share. And until next time, go forth and create that capsule. I can't wait to see what you come up with. Bye.